All right. See, they bought on a little bit of a terror this morning once again. How we doing? Oh, we're not too bad. We're a little just a no, no, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Welcome everybody to this week's hunting lodge. If we haven't met before, my name is Jaxie Beard. Do we have sound? We got sound, we got picture, we got some time to hunt, my friends. We're gonna go have a little bit of a walkabout. We're here on Silver Ridge Peaks. <laughs> Looks like I'm already getting moved in. Um, we'll see what happens. Get the sounds going. What's up, everybody? Good to see you. Hello, Twitch. Hello, YouTube. All of our friends from around the globe. Let me tell you, it feels like spring here today. It's uh, it's sunny and warm. I mean, it looks just like this outside. Maybe a few more houses, a little more concrete. Nonetheless, a great day to go and do a little bit of exploring. We're up here at Lone Island Lake. Uh, today's all about just having a good time hanging out, my friends. We're going to have a little bit of a, hopefully a fun hunt. We'll see if we can go find something. I have not explored my Silver Ridge Peaks too much on this playthrough. Uh, we are level 60 on this playthrough, but as you can see, uh, guy, there's lots I haven't unlocked. We, uh, we haven't spent a ton of time here, so interested to see what some of the known hot spots will hold. This is typically a great spot for uh, the big old kitties, but we'll see what happens here. The goats are getting a little bit out of hand, old Peachy. They were trying to push their way into the lodge. I don't know what's happening. Good to see you, man. Welcome, Chico. Hello, sir. Core of the Wild. Hello. Welcome, Mr. McToop. Good day to you, kind sir. So, I typically like to have a tent set up here uh, just for the angle of the approach. All right, look at these guys. Look at them all just hanging out here. We're not shooting at you because we're not here to hunt you. Go on now. Go on. So we are right at the, hopefully the start. Oh, uh, well, we're into drink time. So hopefully things have moved in here. How has everybody been? My friends, Yudi, what's happening? Good to see you. MD, hello. Welcome. Cartola, hello. Hello. How's it going? Ed Kiefer's in the house. Miss Meg, hello. Good day to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Wow. So um, some of you may have noted that we uh, did not release the DLC catalog on Steam today. Uh, the team uh, was just dotting their I's, crossing their T's. Uh, it will be coming tomorrow. It was just, uh, it was a decision made uh, for quality purposes. So yeah, look forward to that if you're playing on Steam. We'll see what everybody thinks and hopefully that's a feature we can get rolled out on all platforms. I mean, let's face it, that's, uh, it's just a nice little quality of life thing. Now, I did want to answer a couple questions I've seen coming up regarding this. So everybody is clear. Now, I'm not on that build right now. Um, I'm on the live build. But, so I can't actually go and show you. When you click on one of those DLCs, it's taking you to the page. So with Steam, it's taking you to Steam. You're making your purchases through there. None of this is done through the game. It's just the way to kind of organize things. I saw a little bit of chatter of that going around the community. Thought I should uh, put it out there, kind of what the intentions are with it. Look at these guys. There's got to be another kitty over here. This is one of the things I love about the Predators in this game. You know, it makes for some some unprecedented gameplay. Some, you know, you, you can't always gauge that your animals will be in the same spots when predators are involved. And we can see with these guys running around over here, there's clearly something up in those hills. So let's just give it a moment. Gives us a chance to say hello. We're going to move up to this ledge here because, yeah, we got a couple moving in. Just a couple twos and a little. Oh, we got a seven kicking around over here. Got to watch our wind. It is not cooperating. But we'll try and get up the ridge so we can get out at a, at a bit of a range. Mr. Legend, hello to you, sir. How's it going? Tommy's in the house. What's up, Robin? Hello. Welcome. Welcome, Kyla. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hosen. Good day, kind sir. Welcome, everybody. Wheels, how are you, my friend? Wheels, I didn't mean to not get back to you. I was just I sometimes that happens and the busy and the stuffs. Um, I'll try to hit you afterwards, but unfortunately, it's just not something we can really do, my friend. Um, but hey, no harm in trying, right? <laughs> you know what I'm referring to, <laughs> but it's good to see you, my friend. No rest for the wicked? Well, you know, um, I, guess, I, I don't want to make it sound like we're like crazy busy because that's, it's not a crunch culture life here working at Avalanche. They're actually 
Joe. They're very conscious of everybody, the employees, everyone's state of mind, their well-being. Uh, and so they don't promote that. I get a little wrapped up with all of you guys. You know, it's my job and community engagement manager, and I love it. I get to hang out with you folks on off stream. Uh, I, I constant commune with all you guys. Communication, not really commune. That's the wrong term. <laughs> uh, and, and I love it. I love it. You know, you guys, uh, you need something. You know where I am. Evil mountain goats. Yeah, yeah well, they, they certainly are. Murder Horde, what's up, my man? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see so many of you coming out and keeping these uh, these streams fun and exciting and light. And, uh, you know, I look forward to them. I look forward to them every week. It's it's always a nice chance to get, uh, you know, the ability to, to hang out and say hello. And it's kind of nice to not have uh, a bunch of things that we need to cover. I mean, it's don't get me wrong. It's nice to bring that stuff to you guys. As we get news, we try to share through in these streams. We try to give you that value and such. Um, but today, the value is community. It's all about friends and the friends that I know you have made within this community. And if you haven't, well, then make sure to come and join the Discord. Go and join the Facebook group. Uh, both extremely active. Great place to meet other hunters, fellow hunters like yourself, uh, who all want to get out and have a good time, like-minded. Am I going too far? No, no, we're still within range. We're at about 220. We're good. And down here was, uh, we pulled many a diamonds out of this spot. Does not look like it's going to be good to me today, but we'll hang out just a little bit longer. It is first thing in the morning. The beautiful cloud mechanics in the background. Lady Legend, hello. Welcome. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome. We're observing this. Uh, S. Keith, we are on Silver Ridge Peaks. It's it's a community favorite. It's really hard to stay away from here. Um, and you know, I've been asking myself as of late, and what a good time while we're waiting for animals to move in. I'll ask you guys, because I know that it is, uh, everyone's got their favorites. Some folks, it's Yukon, some it's Parquet, some it's Layton, whatever the case may be. But specifically talking of Silver Ridge Peaks, what makes it such a good reserve? Is it the animals? Is it the animal layouts? Is it the terrain? Personally for myself, and throw it in chat, guys, and I'm going to read her out here. Darth, how you doing, my friend? Um, I personally think it's the terrain of the map. Having it split, it's almost, I mean, it's all the same area. I can't call it different biomes, but it's its such drastically different hunting depending where you go. Down on the plains with the pronghorn, uh, around the flats with the bisons, you got your turkey and everything roaming down there. Uh, you know, then you head up into the hills and it feels so drastically different when you get up to two fawns, uh, when you're rolling through the crooked, crooked hills. Then you head up down the left side and you're, you're in a valley and it's, man, the variety of animals. Okay, yeah, you like the land. Nice king of the noobs. Beautiful, beautiful. It's your favorite always good hunting, OG. Yeah, I feel you, my friend. My opinion, you can get by with only two tents. Oh, are we talking? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, this old salt and pepper thing, man. I tell you, it's it's wild. This strip used to be two defined lines. Now it's as thick. Yeah, you're right. I, it's like, I'm just going to have to get a sand down if that's the way it's going. The scenery? Okay. Okay, what are we hunting at the moment? We're here to take a peek. And well, like, what are you trying to see, man? Jeez, that was rude. I apologize. Uh, we're here to see what we've got up in this area as far as the mountain lions go. So we've had another one move in here now. They're very slow to move. As you can see, you have to be calm. You have to be patient. Um, I'd like to give props to Lady Legend for this one. We were out hunting. Oh my goodness, Lady, was this like a year ago? Two years ago, it seems like quite some time. Um, <laughs> and uh, I had never really poked around too much at the, uh, the, the, the mountain lion's drink time here. And she says, oh, you got to check out that spot. I have pulled so many diamond mountain lions out of this spot. So many trolls, so many mythicals. Uh, it is definitely a very good location. If you haven't checked it out, it's right up here, my friends. Such a great, like, really good for goats, too, if you head back around 9 o'clock. So, really, you can plan your hunt. Uh, start at 6 in the morning, go between 6 and 8. You get the stragglers. You get the early risers and the goats. So, you got the straggling lions, mountain lions. You got the, the, the goats that like to move in. Uh, it's a really nice spot. Good to plan a hunt through here if you haven't done so. Uh, and then to work your way back down and through, it's sometimes eventful but uh, you know we like to lay cop a little bit with the drink times uh it this really is a map i feel that the, really the drink times are the best to explore other maps like mexico 
Mexico is a good one where you don't have to be relying on drink times unless you're after whitetail, in which case, do the drink times. Uh, it's just kind of, it's kind of nice, man. Outposts are well placed. Everything's together. Okay, okay. Uh, it should be Jacob. If you're having, uh, this goes for everybody. If you're having any issues, please, my friends, we 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 don't know unless you tell us. Uh, you need to please consider making a support ticket. Uh, I can't begin to tell you how often I hear of people having an issue whether it's in one of our clubs or in our socials but there's no tickets for it so please submit those tickets i i, I can't stress it enough i'm on a mission right, let's see if anything else has moved down here just the one over here interesting very very interesting indeed it's got it there we go there is more you gotta look hard sometimes so we got a couple sevens out and about and they do blend in, don't they? That foliage inside, uh, Mother Nature's camouflage, and sneaky kitties. I can, you know, now they're playing tricks on me. <laughs> the population number of animals and the excellent virtual nature. Okay, even the shooting boxes stands are placed in the right spot. Well, Darth, now uh, let me comment on that. The reason for that, so like if you take into account Layton, originally they were. When the maps are designed, those are known, they should be, or were designed to be, uh, hotspots. That's why those are there. It means that you will find animals in those locations. But over time, as work has been done on the game, and as changes have been made, you know, uh, for various reasons. In some cases, like with Layton, the rabbits were added. When the rabbits got added, we saw everything moved around. Now, a lot of those hunting structures, uh, you know, there's there's possibilities, and, and some of them are still in okay situations. But yes, they, they, they're not as good on some maps uh, as they once were. We got more sneaking down here. Or I'm just noticing it. Holy, I got the morning eyes on. I need more coffee. Have the animals gotten lazy? Seems they're rolling in 1.5 to 2 hours after drink time started. Um, I generally, it depends on the species and it depends on the map. Like, for instance, here at 7 o'clock, um, we've seen them rolling in for the last in-game hour. Now, that could be difficult, you know, it could be difficult when they, you know, you know, the animals, they're only there for so long before they decide to move off. We're going to start blasting here in a minute. Maybe I can get a little ways out if i can get out past the 250 on these guys then i can take a shot but i might cut our angle on this seven over here and see what we can do so there is that to consider but remember animals uh, can i talk about this on on, on i can talk about this here i sure can i talk about it everywhere animals have pathing roots right they move between all of their need zones so when an animal's moved out of its need zone depending where it's got to and you change the time it takes time for that animal to get back to that need zone so that can have something to do with this so depending on how you're hunting um, these guys most were in within the first half hour of my game this time around but that's not always the case we know that oh that's a really crappy angle beard <laughs> they don't lift their heads uh which will be addressed in the next update just to put that out there you're far enough out we should be okay we, uh we trained the dog to do some new tricks yep headstand good boy okay we're gonna just you yeah, just the terrain oh wow okay i'm sorry i gotta have a little fun with this flip okay ready 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 hey bad face hey over oh my god oh wow this took years of preparation. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, having a little fun. You gotta have a little fun. You gotta have a little fun. Uh, I keep thinking I'm seeing more and I'm not. So I guess we'll try and, uh, where was he? He's right there. All right. So we shouldn't have an issue with the 308 with pen. Let's see what we can do here. Let's crack in. We shouldn't be spooking anything. That's the 7mm. Actually, actually. No, we're gonna, we're gonna, mm, no, no, let's, let's stick to it. Let's stick to the 308. We're zeroed for 150. First shot of the day. Scoff freaking douche. That was the 7mm. <laughs> now we'll do the 308. Totally as planned. Not a problem. Everything's good. Totally meant, wow, meant to do that. All right, so we'll zero this one in for 300. We'll get that 7 and maybe the 6 right next to it. All right, let's. Let's get into this guy a little bit. That'll do it. 
Put two of them down. Good money, honey. Oh, are you just gonna lay there? We're gonna go there anyways. Might as well get the cash. Listen to the retort off the mountains. The uh, sound is on point. Sound is on point. Very immersive. Man. What do you do? In yoga terms, is that the town we're talking? <laughs> yes. We support um, all, all kinds of things here at EW. Oh, we destroyed that. 308 is great on lines. You know, Ed, I haven't uh, since... Oh, why am, I, why am I slow walking here? Since the release of the Modern Rifle Web Pack, I have not had a ton of time here uh, on this gorgeous map. Oh, hello. Where were you hiding? Okay, okay. We can take that. Definitely get into that. Nothing else creeping around over there. You're on a 190. 7 mm time. There's a difference between the sounds and the right. Wow. Oh, he just that you had a little too much momentum for your own good there, buddy. All right, let's go have some fun with this. We'll go pick these up. Great way to make money. Great location. A uh, little bit of herd management makes this spot really, really produce. Oh, time to dog to something useful? Well, Divine, I gotta be honest with you. Dog is pretty useful. I guess it comes down to personal play. For myself, where I get a lot of use out of the dog um, is, uh, well, I, I, I do a lot of flapping. Blah, 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 you know, the, <laughs> and I'm not paying attention often to, uh, to where my animals are going. And it certainly makes tracking a whole lot easier, you know? Um, they're not going to make you a fantastic hunter, but nice and game companion. Nice option in my mind. Hey, GD, you know what, Leaf? That was before my time here with the company. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. It was a little grim. was a little grim. I, I think the idea of being uh, really trying to, to press um, the, 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 what, well, I don't want to say the issues in hunting, but maybe preservation, um, you know, just the, the, the realness that can come along with it. It is a little grim. It is. You're not joking. Yeah, let's go pick these up. Did I, uh, let's see. See, here's where the dog comes in really, really handy. Hold on, lady. It's probably going to jump right on this. I see two lung butters. This was our six, so our seven's just laying right up there. Beautiful, not too bad. Look at the bunny. Not bad at all. Real clean go. All right, my man. Good to see you. Thank you for coming to hang out. Appreciate you, sir. Hey, welcome, Cody. Welcome. I'm excited for a hunt today, my friend. Sunsy, what's going down? How are you? Today is, uh, it's, I'm, it's really, it's quite nice. I gotta be honest. A nice, uh, chance to just chill and chat with you guys. Just kind of go through, um, go one more and that's gone. Just to, just to hang out, you know? SRP and chill. Is that, yeah, yeah we'll go with that. All right, I got another gold out of that. 1305. Good money, honey. Take some sevens. We'll come back. We'll see what they do. Can they make a pug instead of a bloodhound? Hey, who knows? Oh, gee, what we get in the future. I, I doubt we would get a pug. That would be quite humorous. <laughs> Pretty damn cute. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Um, I'd love to see more dogs down the road. I think it'd be great. I really do. Why don't animals run with a gunfire? They do, Ronan, if they are within the sound range. So the big rifles, it varies a little, but you're about 250 meters for uh, for a spook distance when you fire your rifle in the game. So if you play that up, you know, that's like what I did over there. You saw when I was up on that ridge right there. I moved outside of these guys out of their sound range uh, and then uh, moved and took the shot on them. Now that varies, you know, as you as you change rifles, um, like the 22. You know, you're 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 just under a uh, hundred meters, around the hundred meter mark, um, and we've seen that kind of be adjusted a little bit here and there over time. But two fifty for your your normal average everyday rifle in game seems to be the spook radius. Hey, what up, has dog? How you doing, my friend? How goes it? Oh yes, I know, I know. Yeah, I hear you up there, but it ain't gonna do you any good. I'm not deleting zones, man. Although I could take one more here. All right, we got some lug butter down. I hear them though. I would like to see the puma or the the mountain lions and pumas attack, stalk and attack. But 
They'll run you over if you get in the way. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of money on the ground right now. Let's go ahead and grab these. A dark red, very pretty. Not bad at all. Got a gold out of it, 37.2. 1,432 bones, you know? Easy money. Easy, easy money. It's, uh, guys, it's a big topic of conversation that you'll find around the community. Best ways to make money. And, of course, there are some preferred methods. Uh, but, you know, really, just get it out there and hunting. And depending what you're hunting, you're going to make money no matter what you're doing. But we all know some pay out better than others. Like, if you're on a whitetail grind, it's uh, they don't pay that great. <laughs> what am I? Is, tell me that's the dog I'm hearing. I'm not going to get run over by a big kitty. Uh, that's it, right? That's all we got here. But uh, Silver Ridge Peaks, it is quite bountiful. Look at that. Look. Whoa! Ho, ho, man alive! Uh, uh, are we, are we going to have issues? <laughs> I got you. Get away. <laughs> it's cat be gone. Didn't you know we sold that in the in-game store now? All right. Well, let's, uh, where do we want to go? Where do we want to do? What do we want to see? Let's head up to the fawns. It's still early. You're still in the, the, the kitty cat drink time. So I want to see if we can find anything here. Oh, Spiro, we are on SRP, Silver Ridge Peaks. It's, uh, it's a very popular map. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, you'll see just from our hunt here, uh, what sort of terrain and the differences if you've never played this and do remember you can you know This is a, a paid DLC reserve uh, But you don't you know, you can go out and you can play it for free in multiplayer And I recommend that to anybody, you know, if, if you're unsure on a reserve go out and give it a try give it a try Super cat that thing was flying man Really is has isn't it? Yeah, yeah Bouncy full, not bountiful. <laughs> oh, Hosen, I guess we should have put some lead into it. Hey, I, uh, you know, give the hunting pressure. You know, I, uh, always, I, I sometimes get a little carried away. That's a zone I don't want to delete. Exactly, Hellbond. I think it was a, a really considerate choice by our, our dev team. We know we have a lot of DLCs. Uh, we try to keep those prices down. Um, I mean, one could say it's 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 a paywall, but um, by giving the opportunity to to get into all of these reserves for free, uh, and you know to access the colors and such, so you can effectively hunt them, uh, it was it was a good move in my opinion. You know, the game was never intended to be DLC heavy, uh, and I I think that you know. It, it exceeded, maybe exceeded expectations. What a, what a great, immersive game it became. Uh, and the teams just wanted to continue supporting it. They, you know, everyone, I can tell you, everyone at work has fallen in love with this game. Um, just some folks, you know, some aren't even hunters, and they love to just go out and explore. And as the new updates come out, as new things come to the game, there's always that buzz of excitement. I mean, you, you know, we all feel it here in the community. Right, I've been a long time player in this game, but uh, that that that's reciprocated around around work. It's it's such a fantastic thing to be a part of, you know. It it really really is. I uh, I had the joy of being part of the Red Deer Great One being released, and the uh, Mississippi Reserve when it came out, which is so mind blowingly different uh, in the ways to hunt and such. Uh, and then I, for the Modern Rifle Weapon Pack, never did I think. Ne oh, hello. Never, ever did I ever, did I ever think I, that we would see ARs in the game. And uh, it's fast become one of my favorite rifles. I, I, I don't, I, you know, I think the reason for that is I would, I can't hunt with an AR here in Canada, um, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, and it's not something I've ever really gotten to, you know, too interested in prior to them coming into the game. Uh, and I love them. I love the idea behind them. This is just a gray. It's not an albino, but uh, still pretty. So he's out at about 257 mark. We'll take the shot. We'll see if there's anything else here. But that way, you know, we haven't even rendered in on the other side yet. So let's just have a little fun with this. We'll go ahead and we'll zero this for 300 with the 7mm. Scar freaking deuce. Oh, <laughs> man. Lay down, son. Gotta love it. There's just something about that feeling. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Demonic Dragon, what's up, dude? Good to see you, my man. Welcome. 
Uh, what's that? Do I recognize the bug with Apex Night when you bought the game to Microsoft Store? Game crashed while well, start. Bug is also reported. Thank you for submitting that. Thank you. Um, I, I so there there were some issues um, revolving around Apex Connect initially. I know that uh, there are some fixes there, but that might not be what you're experiencing. I'm not sure because if you're getting a crash, I have seen. So, you know, one of the things with being in this position, I, I get to see some of the support stuff that happens and, and sort of what's going on. Um, I've seen for PC, some of the crashes often seem to revolve around uh, the redistrib redistributables. Say that one 10 times fast. Seems to be a, an issue. So, you know, um, like on Steam, often you'll verify files, but I have seen where our support has asked people to redo their redistributables. I, I'm not a support guy. And I apologize. I might just be, will you stop it? The dog's all excited. Uh, I, I may or may not help you, my friend, um, but uh, certainly trying, certainly trying. There is also a really good resource is in Discord, in the support channel. There's some articles, they're pinned. Uh, you all have to see Cash Nip in there. He's pretty good at trying to help folks. Um, he's one of our mods, you know, because he, he hears a lot of it and sees what's going on. Look at them fleeing. So that's a good indication. We got a big old kitty somewhere over there. Here we go. Oh, here we go. We're, we're, we're getting in. Excuse you. Oh, wait. So they're fleeing that direction, which means there's something over here that we can't see. Um, they're just running by that kitty cat. Love it, man. I love it. Okay, let's get over here. Let's go pick this up. I'm just nervous about spooking anything that we're not seeing just yet. I suspect it's going to be just over these hills here. Death Crows, good to have you, man. Hey, better better now than never. I know that's not how that goes, but it, it kind of works. We'll go with it. Thank you, Sean. Good to see you, sir. How are you? What's going on, Danger? We are rocking the federal. Yes, sir. Yes. Big shout out to Vod for that, if he's here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's my most comfortable hat. It really is. It's uh, it, it blows my mind. I'm a hat guy. I have a lot of hats. And this is by far my comfiest and, you know, pretty damn good products. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you know, you know. Would I recommend to get the ATV DLC? Yes, absolutely. Um, it, it, for unlocking maps and reserves, so especially if you're just getting started, you, uh... Really? Really? Well, hey, it's getting a little busy here. Oi. Oh, there's another one. They're hard to hit once they get going. Stop it. We're not going to get him. Two grays in one spot. Man. I mean, you know, Beard's got grays. I guess I should be used to it. Let's go with it. <laughs> Steven, I'm really well, dude. Thank you very much. Which night's awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So... I knew that was going to be that too because the dog's growling, which means I've already spotted it. The one that we shot, because we shot it, is running away from us. Open country, it's going to keep going. Now, if there was a wall, it would turn, it would come back to us. Listen to these things just calling out our name. Nice seeing a couple sevens here, though. Pretty cat. Not too shabby. It teases you, right? You know, teases you, the grays, but still very decent. 1544. Now that's that female again. We're going to leave her alone. I'm sure you all knew that, but if you've spotted an animal and you come close to it, your dog will growl. And the dogs will also growl at predators. So trying to decipher through all that. Okay, we're traveling. Is it 9 o'clock already? No. No. But I see more here. Let's see what that one does. I hear the dog just freaking out here. <laughs> How many do we get? So that other one died. It looks like, but I highly doubt that we caught a vital on it. Hello, sir. Ma'am. Ma'am. Mm. 
Well, two fawns has so far not held any real big surprises here today. Um, we might... I don't know, it depends. That other one, it didn't take too long to die, I suppose. Alright, we can go on to it. So, let's get the dog on it. Get him on the track. Come on, big boy. Let's get after it. Nick, how you doing, man? You can say, Carol, hello. What's happening? What's that, Darth Gold? Is there a plan to add additional missions to Silver Ridge? No, unfortunately, there is not. Um, you know, I'll, I'll be straight with you guys. We've talked about this before. There was a time where the team was questioning the missions um, because we were getting mixed feedback on it. They did some surveys, and it was overwhelmingly a response of, no, we're, we don't really do the missions. So we've we've dialed back on the missions because they take up such a huge amount of the bandwidth that goes into making a reserve. Uh, and when it looked as if people weren't as fussed, well, that took away on, you know, animal development, uh, working on terrain and stuff like that. So, um, you know, that that's that's why we're not seeing as many missions. It was wow, really? Thanks, WinZip. I, for the life of me, unless I uninstall it, I can't get rid of that. And it drives me nuts to no end. <laughs> by the way, we are not in any way associated or sponsored by WinZip. Uh, that's just kind of a thing. Okay, dog, we had some blood around here. If you want to get onto that, you're going to make me go find it. Mm, yes, I hear you. And, and you know, because we no longer have them, there has been a lot of voice lately of people that would like to see the missions. Um, and so you never know. You never know. But I'm just being straight with you guys. That that was the reasoning behind it. The team's got a way out. And, and at the time, from the responses they were getting from the community, uh, it, it wasn't very popular. So, you know, why take all that time away from other things in the game when it wasn't so popular? So were we to start working on more missions again, you know, with the balance the team has now, what, what, what do you, what, what misses out? You know what I mean? It's a tough one, you guys. It's a tough one. It's a big conversation. It really is. Okay, two greys, man. Two greys side by side. I mean, they're a lot more common. And, and this is a, a species I found that when we saw the changes um, with, well, here, I'll show you when we go in here, where it shows your fur type. Remember, it used to be uncommon, common, uh, you know, and then it would list the rare type. Now they all have a designation. Um, we have seen more. Come on, Doc. We have seen more appear on certain, and I think this is one that has been affected. Uh, I'm not complaining because I, I love them, man. 1,100 bones. We'll take it. Let's get out of here. Let's keep a tour going. 830. We might just catch over here. Winrar. I know I used to use Winrar. I know. I should go back to it. Winrar is just a little more, um, I feel it's a little more, it, it, they both do the same job at the end of the day, but uh, Winzip, man, they keep shoving that down my throat. It's like, come on, man. I, you know, I don't want to see this. All right. Speaking of see this, let's see what we have down at the lake. This is often a very good spot uh, for kitties, for mules, for turkey too, actually. Really good turkey here. It's just a great spot all in all. Um, love it, man. I love it. Those off-hour hunts, you know, like right now in a rest time, seeing them off to the side. It's exciting. It's, it's cool to see them bedded down. I finished missions on nine of the 11 maps. Grinding the last two currently. Nice, nice. A drone added to spot animals. I think robotic, I think that may be a very tough sell. Um, you go to jail here if you get caught with a drone while you're out hunting. It doesn't even have to be in the air. It's uh, it's severe fines. They are extremely strict on it. That may not be the case everywhere. I'm only speaking from what I know here in old Canadian land. Uh, that'd be it. Would be cool, even if it's just for photographer mode. But you can imagine how that would get used, right? And I think that would be the issue. Right now is when I wish I had a bow on me. You know, when you get up close and personal like that, we'll climb into the sand. We'll uh, we'll glass around the lake here and see if we can find anything tasty. Tasty. Mm. I'll take a kitty cat. Wait for it. Still does that. So there's someone else you should note. 
It's been like that for a little while now. When the mating call goes off, if that hiss is at the end, it's actually a warning call. And they're running to it. <laughs> we'll see if anything makes an appearance over there. I can, I can jump on the collar too. See if we can bring anything out. But first, let's take a look around. And then we'll go back to chat and we'll toot on a horn a little bit. Oh, I should have probably shown you my loadout. Uh, as you can see, I've got the, the, the 22 Predators, the Zarza edition. I've got the 308 Stalker and the 7MM with me. I do have the Sunberg because it's just amazing, this thing. Uh, and of course, we got the Distress Fawn, which uh, does say Puma, but also works for Mountain Lion, Deer Bleed, and the Elk. Holy man! Now, you're not putting your calls out for me, so that cat's got to be right close. Where did we have that collar? That's not the collar. There it is. Let's see what's lurking. You like the missions, Norm? Yeah, yeah. Do I have a No, I do not, Uncle Jim. No. Oh, nice, Virtual. Nice. Nice, congratulations. <laughs> Waterfall maker with Sam Norris. Well, hey, that's a great question. Nothing I can share with you yet, um, except I can tell you it's it's very exciting what we're seeing. Very, very exciting. Uh, you know, the team does a lot of research, and um, you know, professionals are involved. Uh, and and there's there's stuff that 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 I see that tells me it's going to be uh, pretty impressive, like angle of approach, speed on descent, and on their takeoff, the the way that they move. Like so much is being. Uh, looked at and redone. I'm very hopeful that it, it turns out to be something amazing. I like to often... Is that another bloody gray? Are you kidding me? I uh, I like to compare to classic. Well, we're going to shoot that because holy man. Actually, here, let's use the 308. Let's use the 308. Anything moving. Quick look around. Don't see anything moving and grooving too much. I mean, you know, we had a few around here. Can't wait to see the waterfall we use that. I know, I know. It's oh I'm really excited for it. If you've ever played the Hunter Classic, the biggest draw in that game for me is the foul. Uh now I'm not saying it's being done like Hunter Classic. They're two completely different teams. Um two completely different games. It's uh but it it seems as if you know Hunter Classic nailed it. And they nailed it. And I feel like we're gonna see something very akin. Now, I don't know for sure, and I can't wait until I get it in my grimy bearded paws. And, no way, there's not actually a beard on them. That sounds a little weird. But I cannot wait. And so when I do and I'm able to show you guys, well, you know we're gonna make all kinds of noise over it. Um it's something the the, the team really wanted to do. Uh and it's it's nice that they're they're able to Put those energies into it because you know duck hunting it's a big thing right and that would open the possibilities that maybe down the line we could see some some uh different types of you know wood ducks all kinds of ducks coming to the game maybe different types of geese uh to maybe get onto some of the existing maps and areas that have them uh, you know with it being such a, a you know a, a new feature and um, bringing something new and exciting to the game. I'd say that's a very strong possibility, but uh, no promises because, like, there hasn't been any talk about that. I'm I'm completely theorizing here right now uh, just based on, you know, up, upcoming stuff and things. You know? When is the waterfall redesign? It's been something we that uh, they started, the team started working on this year. Um, the, you know, the, the ducks and the geese... They went through some issues and they were broke. Look at the clouds moving in. I love these cloud mechanics, man. Uh, and, and they weren't happy with it. Um, they weren't happy. With it. They took a close look at it and decided they, they wanted to put some love into it. So we got the geese back into a huntable state. There's uh, there's still some some issues with them. They weren't going to spend a lot of time doing any quick redesign. Uh, it just returned them to the state that they were. Uh, and same with ducks. And the ducks right now, they're... they're 
I, I shouldn't say they're difficult to hunt. They're difficult to hunt a certain way. Uh, if they're in the air, they will respond to your calls and decoys. Often you're finding them at the lake still. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're, they're not in a place that the team is happy with. So big, big work on them right now. Big rework. Uh, it's exciting. It's exciting because I know we have these in game, but we're going to be seeing some some pretty big changes. Yeah. So if you haven't heard, yeah, well, you heard it now. <laughs> I can't, Honestly, I can't wait to get my hands on it. I really can. With the redesign, will we see some new species? Oh, no, you're fine, Darth Gold. You guys, you, no need to apologize. I mean, I'm the Canadian here, right? Well, maybe you are too. I don't Oh, I'm just saying it. <laughs> but no need to apologize. Uh, it's one of the things we like to do here is we like to give any info we can. We, you know, like it, it's it's a nice connect for all of us, right? Between our devs and our community, we're, you know, it's nice to be able to do so. So don't apologize. Uh, I, I can neither confirm nor deny. At, at this point in time, uh, I don't know. I really don't. Uh, there's There's a lot of attention on it, which would... Lead me to believe. Hello, I see you. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. Just psyching me out with the, with the yeah, that's a flag. Uh, I would, I would think that we would see them onto other maps, you know, um, additions possibly made down the road. Uh, it really comes down to, uh, you know, what's worked out with yeah, another gray man. All right, this wind is terrible for my angle of approach. Oh, time is flying. I just love this map. It goes so quick, man. You're <laughs> looking forward to taking out some slob chickens. Nice, Seth. Nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. What's up, Diego? Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Hello to Brazil. How are you? Man, we have some great, great Brazil creators in our community. Uh, we just have some incredible creators, period. If you haven't had a chance to check them out, uh, make sure to get in the Discord down the right-hand side. You'll see the community creators. Uh, some incredible guys and gals. Some of, uh, in my opinion, best content out there on, on Twitch and YouTube these days. Great way to learn about the game uh, and communities to get involved with, right? You know, we have our overall community and these this mass community that we have is made up of all these individual communities it's very unique uh, you know and and the creators are um you know, big perpetrators of that right all of our creators they they have some some of the, the best communities i've been a part of so definitely check them out explanation point discord will get you in and get you started well bit of a bust bit of a bust i don't want to wait see now were I not on a time crunch, I'd actually hang out a little bit more. I'm not a rushed hunter these days. I like to I like to take my time and explore areas. Actually, let's uh I kinda wanna pop into these two, but let let's just quickly take a peek here. Quack quack Dougie. Dang straight, man. Oh right on, won't he? Well welcome, welcome to another Call of the Wild. Uh incredible community to play with here, my friend. It's it's uh it's a nice grind. I actually really enjoy the, the push to level 60, I take my time with it these days. I've done like five or six restarts myself. I'm playing on a restart account right now that happens to be all the way to level 60. Uh, but it's it's fun. It gives you it gives you purpose, you know, gives you reasons to, to give that push, you know. Okay, so we're not at an awkward time. I had thought of dialing it back a little, uh, but still very huntable and save a little money. I blow my money. On time changes. I really, really do. USMC Duck, what's happening? Good to see you. Oh, what's that? What's that? Um, which, which nights? Sorry for asking again. Don't apologize, my friend. You're good. Not sure if you saw my last message, but will we get the cheats removed in the next update or at least moved to just single player? First, thank you. You're being very polite. I can't begin to tell you. Man, it's so nice how the, the tone has changed. We all know there's issues. Um, and, uh, I think we've all kind of got a, a groove going where we, we get through and we figure them out. Um, and this has been a challenging one. This has been a very, very challenging one. The biggest issue we have with the cheats and such that are in game right now, the hacks and whatnot, is, uh, the way the game was written initially in development, we, we can't just splice in an anti-cheat. Uh, it's a real pain point for the team. We, we know, we know how... You know, like in single player and hunting with your friends, 
you're not going to encounter it. But if you're on a multiplayer, uh, there's a very good chance you're going to come across it. And it, it's, it can be very disheartening. We're aware. We're exploring every option we can think of at this stage of the game, no pun intended. Uh, it, it really is a pain point. Please know that the team, they see that, right? You guys, you must see how how in tune this, this our, the team is with the community. They listen. They're putting out surveys. They want everyone's opinions. I, I, I love that. It's one of the reasons I took the job here. I love being a part of that. But with something like this, man, we just want to be able to do that. We really do. It affects us all. So um, I can honestly say on behalf of the team, sorry, this was, uh, I, I, I don't think anyone ever really thought that anyone would want to cheat in a hunting game <laughs> when the game was being made. And there wasn't a lot to compare to in the genre. Uh, there certainly wasn't really any other online hunting games other than the Hunter Classic, uh, you know, that, and which again is, it's our own product, right? So yeah, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about this and it's, it's, it's frustrating. Yeah. All right. So not very good at this lake right now. I had to come to this lake, really. It's like, yep, that's it, man. Came all the way here just for me. Just gonna stare at you. He's just level two. I ain't gonna shoot him. I ain't gonna shoot him. This is a, a scenario. Well, at Silver Ridge, just about every one is good. But this is a great spot. First thing in the morning. Like early, early. Okay, let's go take a look. Might have to change the time. It's just... When you change the time... What a gorgeous, gorgeous screen. I love these new splash screens. When you change the time, uh, you got to wait for those animals to come back in and it can take up to 10 minutes. We only got 15, so I'm reaching at straws here. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. All right, let's poke to... We'll go with the wind. We'll move ahead here. We'll take our time. Blast up some turkeys. Oh, danger, man. I love turkey skeets. I do. I really, really do. I'd love to actually just do a turkey hunt one day. Uh, you know, just head out on a stream and go and do a turkey hunt. Um, maybe bring a couple folks out. They're, they're fun to have with friends because you can flush, right? If you spread out, you, you know, if you like them turkey skeets, which I love them. You know, and if you wonder what I'm talking about, it's pretty much pull turkey. <laughs> Great. Get one of the shotguns. Shotgun of your choice, too. We have a nice variety to choose from. Uh, and I haven't done a lot of it really with the 16 gauge yet. Um, yeah, man. Well, if you could throw me something better, I might shoot over there. Not interested. But we will not go too far, too quick, I should say. Kyle, I agree. That's another thing I'd really like to see is uh, some customization for the female players. We we've got the Remy Warren skin. Uh, which is my go-to we've got the we've got the you know everyone can use the the ghillie suits um but some character you know some different female characters like you know the, the rebel worn outfit on on the females would be great right i i get that i get that i'm just pleased as you may have seen last week and i was talking about it and showing it uh on that build we have access to all the outfits again so this is something we should see on all platforms here. Too sweet. It's uh, it's very nice to see. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh no, your internet is down. Oh, well, we just gave away the secret to life. Um, Chad informed me actually, but uh, our mods were on and deleted it just for prosperity's sake. So you missed out on that, I'm afraid, Mick. Yep, <sighs> never a dull moment. You don't want to miss out. I don't know. Come on. I'm still drinking my morning coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm picky about what I shoot, though. Like, uh, kind of, honestly, dude, very picky. Herd management's very, very powerful. Uh, and I, you know, I'm tempted when I'm on streams just to shoot everything. Yeah, I'm you know, just saying. But that's me with niece. I love my niece. That was my go-to. Like, this is ridiculous. Something good's got to come out of the woods. Um, but I'm very much like this when I hunt IRL. You know, I don't... I, well, typically, I don't shoot 
the the first deer or first moose I see. Moose, actually, that's not true because where we hunt for moose, we're uh, it's immatures in the area that we hunt, and they're like unicorns. So when you see one, you know you you, know, you gotta go for it because um, you might not see another one that 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 whole season. It's not a big window either. Where we go, we only have a little over two weeks. So you got to go much farther north, and uh, yeah, that's that's a real real trudge. If you've ever seen British Columbia on the map, you'll know what I'm talking about. It is a massive province uh, with uh, some incredible hunting, but you know you got to travel in some areas. So these guys, we did catch the move, but there's nothing else here. Holy! They're all in behind us, moving on through. There was nothing good with that group. Nothing that we saw at any rate. Man, we might... Stop it! We might be uh, might be a bit of a bust here, see? Oh, well, okay. Here we go. We'll take that four. He's out at 150-ish. Just because I don't want to track him. Nothing else good there. That was nice. He snuck up. Yeah, the Fords look impressive. We'll take it. Let's go pick it up. Feeder, what's happening? Welcome. Doing pretty good, thank you. Fish, call the wild convert. What's that? The fish told me a secret. You're just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, um, would just be too big of a mechanic here. But uh, hey, we can be hopeful, right? We can be hopeful. Maybe uh, down the road, you know, give it a couple of years, maybe. Just saying, our devs are looking for a new project. I'm just saying, it could be nice, you know. We'll see. Oh, fantastic. Um, Ross Keys of where it depends where you're going. I mean, Canada is massive. Uh, I always, I've been all across Canada. I live in British Columbia. Perhaps I'm biased, but uh, it is the most diverse, I guess you can say, nature biomes. We, we have the only desert in BC, which actually is some of the best hunting. Uh, it's also very cold winters, very hot summers in, in the Okanagan. Um, you can go north and it's it, up towards the Yukon. Um, Vancouver Island's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, hit me up later. We'll uh, definitely give you some, some pointers. It just depends where you're going. Stoke Church. Oh, you mustn't hang around very often, my friend. We don't ignore anything here, dude. <laughs> Constantly uh, addressing any issues. You know, if something comes up, we like to talk about them um, because that's how we that's how we get them fixed. We need to draw attention um, with our dev team. We need to uh, have our, our community um, submitting tickets and stuff. But uh, yeah, positive. Oh, there's so much positive about the game. The game right now, um, especially for myself, and I know a lot of others have been saying this to me, is in a really good playable state. The team has been working really hard on bugs. They're still there. There's still issues that are being worked on. Uh, there is a known issues list. And I encourage people, please, if, if you're experiencing something, and maybe you just don't want to submit that ticket. Take a look on that list. If it's not there, you may have found something, right? This is what happens in, in live games. There's not a lot we can do about it, uh, except trying to keep pushing through. And uh, teams were doing a pretty good job on it. Got to admit, pretty, pretty proud to be part of it. But uh, yeah, no, I don't know uh, where you're going with that there, Stoke. I've played this game since it has been released, and I'm loving what it has been implemented. I have new people coming to the stream constantly saying how much they love the game. Job well done indeed. Thank you, my friend. I'm hearing a lot of that lately, and that's that's encouraging. Um, you know, we've seen ups and downs. We have. We've seen ups and downs. There's there's no denying that, right? Um, it's, we're, we're not the sort to try and sweep things under the rug. We try to attack them. It's what we do. Uh, it's what I've been... I've made a mission of my my <laughs> my own time, uh, but through work as well. It's it's nice to have that avenue to be able to to get the things to the team, um, and and they're asking for it. They're asking, you know, like uh, what are the priorities and such. Um, I, we get a lot of help from our creators as well because uh, I I know I can speak on that behalf from coming from a creator role. Uh, your communities are, are are good at keeping you in the loop on these things, right? Um, and then being able to pass that on. So it's pretty good. It's good. I think we're moving in the right direction, man. I really am. Um, you know, we're not a AAA studio. We don't pretend to be. Uh, we, we're definitely doing our best. We've uh, been thrown curveballs, you know, and I think most see it, but uh, most understand. 
Those that don't, well, you can't please everybody. You try. You certainly try, right? But you can't please everybody. Any what packs you recommend to get? Yeah, um, honestly, the Modern Rifle Weapon Pack, I've been having a blast with. Smoking Barrels, absolute must. Weapon Pack 1, absolute must. Um, the, the problem with the Weapon Packs is currently there's no way to try them before picking them up. So that's where the community comes in. They'll be able to tell you. Uh, I think they're going to echo a lot of what I've just said. There's nothing going on here, man. Um, the maps, it's nice. You can preview them. Ho, oh, ho, is that... Did I just see... Is that leucistic? The way it kind of went in, it's behind there. I don't have anything to shoot. Well, I guess I have the 22. I do have the 22. I don't have a collar. But if he sticks his head out from behind that bush, it's about 250 out. I prefer a shotgun, that's for sure. Stoke, and I encourage you to submit tickets if you're having an issue, dude. For sure, man. Absolutely. That, that's how we fix them. Um, but that's just not how it works. We can't just stop and work on bugs because then we have to lay a whole ton of people off. So, you know, it's just the nature of a business. It is a business after all. As passionate as, as our, our, our devs are, as our, our employees are, um, you know, they need to keep the lights on at work. And I suppose keep the lights on at home. So we need to continue to make the content to keep those lights on so they can continue to work on any issues that may come up. A lot of those issues derived, um, you know, really from, oh, it is too, from, uh, as we, oh man, this is going to be a bit of a stretch, but we'll see what we can do with it. Why are you just going through it? I swear. Uh, it's just let's call it morning shots. Trying to get that range. <laughs> 250, zero for 150. I'll take that one on the chin. <laughs> it's okay. I can take it. I can take it. <laughs> no, that's exactly how we fish them and fix them. You know, um, you need to give whatever information you can, right? Absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's that's the nature of making a game. So we, we do our best. Absolutely. Uh, can't get drumsticks with a shotgun. I, well, yeah, fair enough. You wreck them. That's true. That's something I'm faced with a lot when I'm hunting grouse IRL. You know, we uh, we have our little 410, but over the years, I've started taking them with the 22. 410 is more fun. It really is a lot more fun. Uh, but with the 22, you can pinpoint a little more, and there's not a lot of meat on grouse. There's just enough and when you that, that you know, you can clean them pretty quick and uh, you got lots of options with them um but there's just enough when you have six to uh to feed a bunch of guys because <laughs> they're tiny tiny little breasts and i mean turkey um well we've seen the size of they're much bigger than a grouse that's gorgeous man that's absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful You found three bucks to call the wild dicks, fleece, mosquitoes. Can you make a Macedonia map? That would be pretty cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, make use of the feedback channel, guys. If you have suggestions you'd like to see in the game, um, that is, it's in the Discord. Um, I can tell you, I know a lot of others do too at work, but I go through that constantly. Um, I look at the support channel a lot too. I like to see what's going on. But uh, that one's pretty good. How long has Jaxie had his beard? Logan, I've had my beard. Well... God, I had a big goatee long before I had the beard, but the full beard, eight years, seven years. I try to keep it trimmed, not too long. I don't want it, you know, it's long enough. It's long enough that it gets caught in coats and flaps in my face when I'm riding the bike. All right, beautiful. Let's pick this up. That's gorgeous, man. A little more common than they used to be, but uh, still quite nice. Love the artwork that's gone into them. Beautiful. See that one, man. Terso Manitaris. Not great money, but not bad. And when you have a group of them, there's pretty good options with. You know? How active is the devs on TikTok? Well, um, you know, a lot of that, the, 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 I could tell you how the devs are. We're that sort of go-to link. Myself and Meg and TK. Um, I spend a fair bit of time on all platforms, including TikTok. I was bored with it. it came out and the, uh, instead of slapping me the doctor slapped some beard oil in is that that pretty much where we're going with that <laughs> i'm good snip sip thank you my friend i am i'm very good 
<laughs> How do we get out of the topic of the beard? Oh my goodness. It's not about me. It's about you guys here, man. <laughs> I'm just the host. Although I gotta say, I'm having a little, I'm having some fun this morning. It was really nice to be able to, uh, to do a stream where it's just a chance to hang out. Chance for, uh, you know, all of us to get to know each other, to make new friends, to be able to chat. Uh, you know, it's about community, right? So I really enjoyed myself today. Heading around here in SRP, Silver Ridge Peaks, for those of you that are new in the community. Uh, absolutely incredible map. Check it out for free in multiplayer, see if you haven't bought it. But honestly, I think this, in my opinion, is one of the must-have reserves here in Call of the Wild. Uh, it's just, depending where you want to go at what time of day, there's always something going on. I really feel like I need to go and hit all these. <laughs> like I've done so many playthroughs, I know exactly where I want to go. Uh, and that that's time, man. That's that's time, and I'm just gonna do another restart. You know? Man. You got a full beard zip. <laughs> Not help you track animals is big time saver. We're talking about the dog? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I see what does a dog do? Yeah, really good to help with, with tracking. Maddie, how's it going? Welcome. Welcome. Then you see all the people train and really think it ruins the game. Is there any way it can be fixed? We're we're really looking into it, Mr. Beth. We really are. Um that it's you know, trading, we're never gonna be able to stop. Trading, um, you know, I, I know there's there's a lot of casual players that will argue that let us do it. I, I, I mean, hey, however you play your game, it is what it is. The the big issues as I see it right now is you know, there's 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 the hacks. There's the hacks and the mods. Um, and, and the worst part is, is, you know, these mods, they cause so many issues like the pop scanner and stuff like that. Your game literally messes up. Um, animals start to fly, walk into the ground, do really, really goofy stuff out of the normal goofiness that you can sometimes experience. Um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're working on it. We would love to be able to address all those. Uh, we're looking into it, I should say, because we're limited really on what we can do really are as squirrels and pigeons yeah that would be pretty cool that would be pretty cool what's that last week on stream they said she wasn't a fit well i was on stream and i never would have said she's not and she's an official content creator what we call our ccs uh here in the community um, you can go down, you can go to Discord if you have any questions, and down the right hand side, you can see a full list of all the creators. Uh, you know, uh, people like Lady Legend and Scarecrow and Flinner and Kill Clinton and Ron McTube. And oh my god, the list just goes on. See, when you start naming people, you need to continue naming people. Now I feel like if I don't name everyone, I'm gonna leave somebody out, and they'll be like, Come on, man, like Lang's sitting there right now, he's writing me hate mail. It's like, I thought we were tight, man. Doe Slayer is making a video about me. It's going to go up on TikTok. <laughs> we have some incredible creators. And I urge you to go check them all out, my friend. <laughs> Hundreds? No. Not at all. Not at all. Um, you can definitely go check it out. It's. Uh, I think we've got 28 in total. 28? Roughly around there. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, you know, like a lot of other games, they do have hundreds of official creators in their programs. We haven't gone that route, um, but uh, we do have, uh, uh, the program's been rewritten to help some of our smaller creators that are trying to get their start, because we like to support, we like to help grow, um, and, you know, we can offer, uh, you know, some some support in that, that route. So that's, uh, we're hoping to get that live, um, because uh, there's a lot of folks that are waiting on it. So we've had some... Uh, challenges as we redo our website and it's to be linked through from the website but uh we're taking matters into our own hands we're upping our game we're leveling up if you will <laughs> oh my goodness thank you all so much for coming to join us uh greatly appreciate it you know um if you guys ever have any questions or there's ever anything you need of course always these streams we we try to be as transparent as we can uh there's you can get a hold of me in discord you can get me on well facebook's maybe a little more challenging but i am over there in the facebook group daily um and i'm even uh i'm the one that goes and peruses steam so if uh there's anything you guys are needing you know where to find us thank you all for coming to join us this week once again i'm jackson beard here with expansive worlds this has been the hunter call of the wild and uh Stay tuned. We have some really exciting things happening soon. I look forward to it. I look forward to sharing them with you all. And we'll see you again. Thank you, my friends.
See? There's Tipsy. I told you, I left somebody out. Now I'm gonna get hate mail. <laughs> Good to see you, brother. Sorry I missed you, my man. Fantastic creator right there.